Well, greetings, ladies and gentlemen. I'm Oz, um, and today we're going to go through a little bit of a tutorial on how to make your own uh, over, uh, gaming overlays. I spent pretty much a day trying to figure out how to work this out, um, finding little bits of information here, there, and everywhere off the internet, and it took me forever. I tried finding it on YouTube. There was only one video, and that was not really that much use to me. Um, so with a little bit of... Um, internet help and a lot of trial and error, I managed to work it all out. And it's very, very simple as it turns out. Uh, the program I'm gonna use is PowerPoint. So basically, uh, how I got my head around it um, is basically you can you can cut hole, I wanted to cut a hole in a, in a JPEG and I couldn't find out and I couldn't work out how to do it. And it turns out it, it's a very simple process. So I'm gonna take you through how I figured it out um, basically, you can't cut a hole in a JPEG. Um, you can only cut holes in shapes. So I'll show you how to do that, and then I'll we'll go on to how we actually got around it. So we've got our two shapes here: um, our large one, which is one we're going to take the, uh, the cut the hole out of, and our small shape. So basically, what we're going to do is we're going to drag our small shape, place it over, and say we want a hole in the middle of our large square. That's very very simple. So now that's like that. So we we click on the larger square first, that's the one we want to cut the hole in, and then we press the shift key and click on the smaller one. We then right click on the smaller one, we go down to grouping, and lo and behold, all these options here have turned up. They don't normally turn up uh, unless you're using shapes. So they're now all of a sudden uh, in place. So what we want to do is we want to subtract, so we click subtract, and all of a sudden we have a hole. If I move it over to the side of the screen, you can see I now have a hole in my uh, shape. And this is this is basically what you want for your overlays. So that's the first part. If you can work that out, uh, the rest is fairly easy. So what we wanted to do, what I wanted to do, was create a hole in my JPEG, um, but it wouldn't allow me to do it. So the way we do it is we sneakily and I've got this one prepped already. We we get our shape and we turn our shape into the JPEG, but it's still a shape, if you know what I mean. And I'll show you what I mean. We simply do this. We right click on it, we go down to format shape, okay, picture or text. We choose our picture, and here's one I've chosen earlier. Um, I'm big on Hearthstone at the moment, so I'm going to choose this one and we press OK. So there's our JPEG photo that we wanted to cut a hole in uh, initially. But it's not, it's, it's still, um, it's an actual shape, but it, 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 it's a picture, but it thinks it's a shape. So now we can cut holes in it using the same process as you just seen. So here's a whole bunch of shapes that I've chosen and icons and stuff that, I, that I've used previously. So what I'm gonna do is we're just gonna copy this one We'll go up to here again, we'll paste it. Okay, so that's gonna basically be, I will move that just up here, I think. So we've got the uh, title down the bottom, in fact, a little bit more. Okay, so that's gonna be my frame. I'm basically gonna cut this area out by simply clicking on, get myself a shape, which is a rectangle, placing it down. Okay, using the same technique as before. Now, because um, let's just move it there, okay, that's fine, and let's just drag it out so that it's actually overlapping there. Okay, so we've got the shape, the window that we want to cut out, so I click on the shape that's behind, it's now a JPEG, I shift key on that shape, right click, go to grouping, subtract, and there is our hole. So if I move my frame, you can see that that's worked ideal. So there's our frame back in place. In fact, it's not quite there yet, is it? Okay, so we're good to go. So that's basically um, where the game itself is actually going to be. So I click on my other one. And again, the, these shapes here that I've got, I've literally done exactly the same off the internet. I found a picture with a frame. Um, I saved the picture, I cropped it, and then I cut the middle out um, using, using this exact same uh, process. So I want a uh, picture box for myself, so we'll copy that one so that you can, and we'll, 
and we'll paste that in as well. Um, so this is where you're gonna see me on the actual game. We'll put it up here on the right hand corner. Um, I go to shape, another rectangle, place it in. I like so, stretch it out. Okay, and we do the exact same process. So we uh, group, we subtract, and we're good to go. So that's where my face will be um, using the uh, program that I, that I use. I use ScreenFlow, which is what I'm actually using here. Um, and then obviously, so I've got my, my two, uh, if I group all these now, if I group all these now, so we'll just group them. Okay, so the now, so you can actually see, if I move it across, I now have my hole in my JPEG, and I've got my, basically, frame for my overlay. Now you can use this for whatever game that you want. Um, I'm using it for Hearthstone at the moment. This is the uh, game that I'm heavily into at the moment. And then, obviously, you want to go and put all your adverts, this, that, and the other, etc., etc. So there's my logo, so we'll copy that one, we'll place it down, uh, probably place it down down here um, and again any donations we like that so we'll copy that we'll paste it and we'll place that down on this corner um, and last but not least the email that if anybody wants to donate to me can do so uh, paste so we'll move that again down here. And we're good to go. So there's, there's, our, there's our basic um, overlay right there and then. I mean, you can do that as many times as you want, put as many frames as you want, et cetera, et cetera. But that's pretty much it, ready to go. Um, there's a little bit of space here that, um, for those of you who play Hearthstone, I've actually got a, uh, my deck list that goes in this one here. I won't do that today um, for speed. But we will, here we are, we will, uh, we will group them all. So let's group them all, they're now all grouped. It's now just one big picture. I'm going to save that uh, to my, my pictures, untitled. Let's do that, save. So now I have it in my pictures. And uh, all I'm gonna do now is show you it in action, me playing a game, um, good to go. So let's get that up and running. So here we are, uh, we're playing our game now. Um, the system works. Uh, here's me in the top right hand corner, here's the actual gameplay. Um, and it is that simple to do. I simply, uh, with my screen crow, when I edit it, I place the overlay in. Uh, and again, I can even, sh I can't show you that because it stops. But that's, that's pretty much as, as easy as it is. So um, I'm hoping that helps you out immensely. Like I said, I spent a day trying to work this out. Um, and there's a lot of information there that just wasn't available for me, which really massively, massively sucked. Um, but I got there in the end. I'm making a video for your ease so that you don't have to go through the same process that I did. Um, I hope you like it. Subscribe away. Plenty more where it came from and take care for now. Bye.